ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday morning, it's Sports Day 2017, here we go. Can I get a cheer from Brunel? That was pathetic. Can I get a cheer from Fawcett? Obviously not. Anything from the mighty Milton? Mrs. Tocosi, you should be ashamed. Here we are at TVAC. The teams are starting to arrive. The mighty Milton are here. Uh, cheerleader in chief. Cheerleader in chief, Mrs. Tocosi, isn't here. She was so mighty that she went home to get a jumper. But Miss Lonnie's here. She didn't go home to get the jumper. Um, so we are beginning to get warmed up for the day. Uh, Mr. Boyle is here in the stadium at TVA. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Boyle. Almost matching hats. Almost matching yeah. hats. Mine's slightly larger than yours. That's because you've got a big hair. It is because I have a big hair. Hi to my big grey. Um, uh, how is the coach, Mr. Boyle? It was a luxury They're coach. Matching hats. Everyone, and look at their matching hats. Look, look who's down there. Hello, Mr. Hayes. Um, yeah, there is a luxury coach on the College Mr. comedian. Indeed. Mr. Yeah, McGarry, can coach. you get a matching jacket? <laughs> I had it earlier in the week. <laughs> I, I will be wearing that jacket before the day is out, don't you worry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our annual Sports Day interview with little Mr. Hayes. Hi. Hi, Mr. Hayes. How are you feeling? I'm a bit sad. Mr. Hayes feels sad. Why do you feel sad, Mr. Hayes? Got no gun. Mr. Hayes feels sad because he's lost his gun. What do you have instead, Mr. Hayes? I've got to clap. He <laughs> gave you that. <laughs> it looks like a children's toy. <laughs> Put your finger between it, sir. <laughs> did, you, did you borrow that from Sebastian? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hayes feels sad because Mr. Hayes has got the clap. So we are heading over to the Senior Boys Discus. Now, as you remember from previous years, our resident discus expert is Mrs. Dawson, who is a Wales Under-19 discus champion. But here in her place today is Mrs. Ellis. Hello, Mrs. Ellis. Uh, have you won anything yet, Mrs. Ellis? Herschel, no. <laughs> no, have you cheated at anything yet? No, sir, I don't cheat. Is that why you haven't won anything yet? Yes, yeah, that'll be why, yes. Perhaps some cheating. Oh, Christian's throwing a discus. Here goes Christian. It's gone miles! Absolutely miles! Look how small that person is in the outfield. It's gone such a long way. They look tiny over there. Megan Shakespeare and Esther all have just had a 1 2 for Herschel in the 200 metres. Well done, Megan and Esther. 1-2 well, for Herschel in the 200 metres. Isn't that exciting? I have no idea who's winning though, Mr. Fred Adler won the triple jump as well. Fred Adler won the triple jump? No, he didn't. That's just a lie. Fred Adler never won anything. Uh, Ted? Oh, that was me. Oh, I'm in the way, apparently. First on-camera casualties. Ah. Now, this is my favourite event of the year. This is year 10, sitting down. Uh, Howarth, Howarth is in the lead, Sadler closely catching. It's one of the events also where girls and boys can compete together. It's going to be a really, really tight one here. Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? It's Howarth by a nose and the senior boys sitting down. I'm here at the start of the girls 1500 metres where county champion Cara is warming up, ready to go and trying to run away from the camera, we won't waste her energy. And Miss Kerr is here, ready to do her version of the 1500 metres in dance. Spin, spin, spin. Lovely. So here are two Herschel champions. What have they done, Mr. Hayes? Uh, one, uh, 200 metres, first place, second place. Wonderful. An interview for the camera. How do you feel? Good. Good? Yeah. Overwhelming. Thank you. So, we are here at the start of the Junior Girls 1500 metres. Mr. Hayes has a ridiculous little children's toy with which to start the race. Here he goes. He's got his clapper in the air. No, they're not ready. They're not ready. What an anti-climax. He's waving his arms around in the air. It's not good enough. He's waving his arms in the air. I know, when you can't get the staff or the toys or the equipment. They are ready. Mr. Hayes has got his clapper in the air. <laughs> what a ridiculous little noise! 
Isn't that yeah. pathetic? And the girls are off. I'm now here with Mr. Carey, who is modelling our new sixth form sports kit. We have, first of all, the salmon pink polo shirt. So, yeah, the, 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 these came from a garage, I assume, the sunglasses. Um, the, the Mac. You need a Mac. <laughs> Always the man in the Mac. And, and, and as we scroll down, grey shorts, grey shorts, shorts. You wore those when you were eating, didn't they? Didn't you, Mr. Carey? Oh, the old chip. And indeed, Converse? those trainers are those Converse. Yeah, are. Those are like vintage Converse. Yeah. Almas, get over here! Come and look at these shoes, mate. Look, he's turned up. And we're introducing our special guest for the day, Mr. Mr. Tabani Oliver Wally. Presumably, you're just here to see Mr. Hounsell. Pretty much. Can you do some athletics for us, Tabani? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to run in that direction for about four meters and then fall over. Go. So Barney demonstrates what he's been famous for in sport for the last three years. We're now moving over to another event that is totally unique to Hollyport College. And that is, oh look at the do si -do going on over there. Um, and that, that, that event is the Olympic snacking. Olympic snacking. And in first place, we have Mrs. Sinner. Mrs. Sinner, what have you snacked on so far today? Uh, two chicken wraps, eggs, hummus and carrots. But you're not snacking right now. Put the M&M's back. Okay, so Mrs. Sinner currently leading on the Olympic <laughs> snacking. So I'm here with Yuri Cardoso, representing which house, Yuri? Uh, Milton. Milton, what have you been competing in so far uh, today, Yuri? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Walker, house master of Herschel House. Ooh, that was a loud one. Such a child. I'm now here in the scorers stroke commentary box with Mr. Bicknell. Mr. Bicknell, how's everything going? It's awesome out there. Great. <laughs> I'm here at the long jump, long, long jump, Ooh. with Miss Brown and Mrs. Crocker. And now I heard a rumour about you, Mrs. Crocker, which is that actually you are a long jump county Just champion. County champions. How I far, that. How I far can, you can you show us how far you can jump? No, because I sure? don't hate it. Sure? Sure? That was quite a good jump. And uh, now a brief yeah. interview with Mr. Pyman, our uh, star of Herschel House. Mr. Pyman, what events are you going to be doing? So we have the glamour race. didn't even notice. didn't even notice. <laughs> And now for a very important message from our international friends. Hi, today is National French Day. Oh, um, so happy uh, French people. Happy International Day to every French people. In um, France? Banque Nationale. Oui. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. And our next event here on Sports Day at Hollyport College is the Sack Race. And it's an exciting event. Mr. Walker is absolutely in the lead with his sack. Like some kind of slightly sinister Father Christmas. This is Mrs. Sunner's lunch in here. Mrs. Sunner's lunch? Oh, it's Mrs. Sunner's snack bag! Excellent! So go on, Mr. Walker, they're catching you up! Run! Run! The bananas are coming! Run! The bananas are coming! The bananas are coming! Oh, Mrs. Bananas. Sunner, you're in for a treat! It's now time for the absolute blue ribbon event of the Sports Day calendar. It's the parents versus staff tug of war. Uh, we need one more female member of staff, Miss Blackwell, to the rescue. Can I see your tug of war face, Miss Gardner? Nice and low. Nice and low. Their mums have got a dad on there. It's cheating. I think I'm just going to film Miss Kerr throughout the tug of war. There's Miss Kerr. Oh, the mums are cheating. The mums are cheating. Right. Selfie cam on Miss Kerr. Selfie cam on Miss Kerr. Oh, that was pathetic stuff. So the overall winner about to be announced. <laughs> And Miss Noble, on behalf of Fawcett House, and Miss Smith, a monumental victory for Fawcett House. That's it from Sports Day 2017. It is always a pleasure. On the top step of the podium this year, Fawcett House. Sports Day winners 2017.
same time next year.